My stomach is very full right now. <laughs> it's very cold. I like that I'm talking to the wall right now. Not bad. One Piece is back here at Universal Studios Japan with their One Piece premiere summer, which is on until October 10th, 2023. There is food, there is merchandise, and a brand new version of their show that happens in the Waterworld stage. There's people screaming above me because they are so excited for the One Piece show. <laughs> it was actually Hollywood Dream the Ride, which also has a special track with One Piece on it too. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> We're gonna check all of it out today, Explorers, and I am super excited. We have the shop here. They've replaced the Spy Family shop. Spy Family's gone now. Things move quickly here. Oh, there's so much merchandise. We're gonna have to go inside and check it out. We're gonna look at the merchandise here. There's a lot of One Piece merchandise. We're gonna go through everything. <laughs> so we have towels with all the characters. Zoro. Yes, 2,000 yen. There's gonna be so much merchandise. Hey, Luffy. 2,000 yen. Oh, Sanji. Oh yeah, there's also the Sanji restaurant as well. It's 2,000 yen. Nice. And also if you're wondering why there's nobody in the shop right now, this is a press day, so they're letting us film in here before everything goes on sale, which is nice. Oh, we have t-shirts here, 4,300 yen. So they're gonna have all the characters. One Piece, Universal Studios Japan, 2,900 yen. And we have, what is this, a pencil case. Oh, that's nice. How much is this? Let me guess, 3,200. Oh, 24. That was very wrong. <laughs> oh, I like the headband. How much is the headband? 3,300 yen for the headband. We got Luffy. So these are gonna be the same prices. We got the t-shirts, anything on the back? No, oh yeah, there is. Oh, stuff in the back. Oh, okay, I see, I see. I see, I see. Okay. <gasps> I love those. Oh, the headband. <laughs> I like that. These are different too. Oh, they are. Okay. Tons of merchandise. We saw those. Another t-shirt. The Straw Hat Crew. 4,500 yen. There's a design on the back. So there's... The white and the black. I like I have to give options. Oh, we have jewelry stands. Oh, acrylic jewelry stands. They must be blind boxes, I don't see them. They're somewhere, I'm sure. And we have jewelry, 2300. We have jewelry here. Oh, and we have hand towel here, 22. We've got some pens, 2700 yen. <gasps> Ooh, little clear files. I don't know what voice that was. <laughs> 1900 yen. You know me, if it has the name of the franchise plus Universal Studios Japan, I am a sucker. Sucker for that. Oh, there's six in here. That's really nice. We have the t-shirt here. There's Sanji. Oh, how come he gets like a special thing? That's cool. Aw. Okay, so they're kind of, they have the t-shirt. The plush and then the pencil case and the towel. We got more stuff over here. Nice badge set, 2,000 yen. I'm gonna go through this pretty quick because there's a lot of stuff here. How much is this? This is 2,500 yen. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's cooling too and UV. Nice, a cape towel, 4,200 yen for that. And here we have a can badge collection, buttons, and there's a secret one. You can buy the whole thing for 14,000 yen if you want all of them. Or you can buy one individually for 700 yen. And we have Omiyage here, 2,300 yen for a chocolate crunch. And you can see the cute little designs here. So there's three. An acrylic stand, d desk organizer. That's nice, 2,200 yen. It's all flat and everything. And we have the Straw Hat Crew, 
2,900 yen, that's awesome. I really love that. We have a bath turbine. There's so much stuff. How much is this? I can't see a price. Oh, 2,400 yen for that. Continuing on, we have keychains. So again, more blind bags, 900 yen each. And they have all the different designs here you can see. That's nice. I run out of ways to describe things when there's just so much stuff. These cookies are cool. I love the prints on them. That's a really, that's a nice design too. 2,000 yen, there's 24 in there. And that's the box. Hey guys. <laughs> Here we have, what is this, bracelets? Charming bracelets. Again, more blind bags. All the different characters on there. 1,000 yen each. Blind boxes, bane of my existence. Oh, I like this. Who doesn't love a pass case? 1,800 yen for that. Oh, blind box mascot. That is mean. 1,500 yen. Here are the different characters that you can get. This is uh, like a little case, a little bag. How much is this? 2,200 yen. Oh, and you can buy custom strap. Okay. 1,800 yen for that. Did we look at this? I don't think we did. Pass case, yeah. 1,800 yen for the pass case. <laughs> 1,800 yen. Oh. oh, this one's nice. I like that design. That's a nice design. Let me guess, 1,800. I was right, 1,800 yen. Another pass case. Oh, another bag with Luffy. Oh, and here is the medallions. They're 200 yen each. And then we have all the different t-shirts and accessories. We kind of went through those already in, in depth. What I love is with the mannequins, they show you how to style everything. They put a lot of thought into their merchandise, which I really appreciate. Oh, and I want to get a towel, uh, One Piece, Premier Summer 2023. 2,000 yen for that. Oh, there's a phone case. Hello, where's the phone case? And we have more stuff here. I don't know how much that is. I don't see a price. Oh, we have a necklace and ring set. 2,900 yen. Music is really loud in here when there's nobody else in here. <laughs> this is 29 as well, yeah. So yeah, necklace and ring set. How much? I don't see a price tag on this. I don't know, it's something. Oh, here's the, the phone case. iPhone 13 and 14. It is 2,500 yen. Little carnigans of the different characters. It's nice, 6,500 yen for that. Same thing again. Yeah, all the different characters. Sanji's Pirate Restaurant. And we have a ring and bracelet set. <laughs> 2,600 yen for that. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. There's some stuff over here I want to check out. And we have a cushion. That is amazing. That is amazing. 3,000 yen for the cushion. It has a little handle so you can carry it around. Oh, here's the hat. Here's Luffy's hat. His straw hat. How much is this hat? The hat is 3,800 yen. That's really nice. And we have a fan. Fan is how much? 3,900 yen. Ooh, we have a customizable tote bag. They've been really into the customizable tote bags lately. Like they have it with the, the new parade. 3,800 yen. That is nice. Uh, we have a marine hat. <laughs> How much is this? Uh, 3,200 yen. Oh, we, oh, this is nice. 6,000 yen. That is really nice, actually. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, the inside of the cushion opens. It looks like the ship. I guess I could have guessed that from the front, but that is, that is nice detail. We have another t-shirt here, 4,500. Oh no, they have small, large, small, medium, and large, and extra large. One piece, Universal Studios Japan. Oh, 1,000 yen. Oh my goodness, I looked at everything. <laughs> Was there anything that you like? Let me know in the comments. I think it's time to try. I guess maybe I shouldn't film under a roller coaster. <laughs> We're gonna get some one piece food because I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. So there's a few places to get food. There's Sanji's restaurant, but you have to do a reservation for that. And 
it's more of like a show and it's going to be only in Japanese. So unless you understand Japanese, it might be a little difficult to follow things. But there's also some snack food here. There's Chopper's Cherry Petal Peach Yogurt Frappe. That looks really good. And then there's also Robin's Violet Cassis Soda. So you can try these here. This is in Jurassic Park. Decorations on there, those are nice. But there's also another One Piece restaurant that you don't need a reservation for. So Discovery Restaurant turns into a One Piece restaurant during the event. And we're gonna try some of the food here. Looks really good. I love that it says Feast Restaurant. We have all these decorations out here for One Piece. In addition, there's also some desserts too, which we're gonna try. The inside has banners. You can see a big mural in the back there and a big piece of meat right in the middle being roasted. <laughs> Here's the mural. That's really nice. This is definitely custom. I do like the little details here. You know what would have been awesome? If they put a straw hat on him. <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna get some food. Well, we got the peach yogurt frappe with chopper on it. Look how cute that is. So, yeah. He is adorable. And there's little sakura petals on here, kind of pedaling down. Very adorable. And it smells very peach. That's very peach. They weren't lying. So there's peaches on here. Oops, as I fling it across the table. And yogurt and peach syrup inside. It's very peachy. Presentation, top notch. I'm not the biggest fan of peaches, so I'm kind of like, eh. But the presentation is cute, and Chopper's cute. We love him. It's great. I'm trying to get to the ice. And shaved ice. There's different types of shaved ice at University of Japan during the summer. There's one piece versions, and there's other ones as well. So make sure you try them. It's a great way to keep cool because it is hot. Today it got up to 32 degrees. It's hot, it's very hot. This is not, it's very cold. I'm giving myself brain freeze. Now that I had time to kind of sift through it a little bit more, this is pretty good. Yeah. In addition to the shaved ice, there's also Robin's Violet Cassius Soda. And Cassius is black currant. It's very purple. It, smell, it smells very berry. <laughs> oh. That was sweet. That's sweet. I just got a mouthful of Cassius. I don't know what the little black, there's little black tapioca balls in here? Or berries, what are they? Oh yeah, those are berries. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Very refreshing. If you like black currant, then yeah, it tastes like a black currant. It's very sweet though. Good job, Robin. It's got good taste. To be fully transparent with you, Explorers, we were invited here for the press day at Universal Studios Japan, so they did provide the food for us so we can show you wonderful Explorers at home. Luffy's meat meat plate. That's what it translates into. <laughs> In Japanese, it's Rafi no niku niku pareto. <laughs> Luffy's meat meat plate. And yeah, there's meat on here. There's some steak and there's a little sausage, and we got some veggies, and the rice looks like his hat, his straw hat. Wonderful. And there's some french fries in here as well. I feel bad wrecking his hat. It looks like butter rice with uh, ketchup on it. Oh, we got some lemon. I'm gonna get seeds in my food. I don't want seeds in my food. Here's how this sausage tastes. Tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. That's it's actually it's quite tasty, quite flavorful. You get a lot of like a lot of food in this. We got a little flank steak here. Not bad. Could use a little spice. I want to try and get some of the sauce. There's like some sauce on here. Looks like with some red and green peppers, maybe. The sauce is nice and tangy. Okay, the 
The sauce enhances it. <laughs> the meat's a little tough. <laughs> it has a nice balance between carbs and protein and vegetables. You don't see that a lot in theme parks. I do like when things are nice and balanced. And you get a lot of food. This is a lot of food. This is pretty decent. The other dish that we're trying is Frankie's American Chicken Plate. Why is, it, why is it American Chicken Plate? I don't know. But there's cheese on the chicken and it... I love cheese, so, you know. We're gonna cut into this and it looks nice and... It looks really juicy. And we have a sauce here. I'm not sure what the sauce is, but we'll find out. We'll dip the chicken in here. Um, that's not a dipping sauce. It's a soup. It's a vegetable soup. Here I was thinking like, oh, this is kind of like Swiss chalet. <laughs> you know, with the dipping sauce. No, it's a, it's a vegetable soup. <laughs> There's mushrooms in here and lentils. Yeah, it's like a tomato soup. It's cold too. It's a cold tomato soup. It's been a, it's been a day, okay? It's been a long day. Let's give the chicken another shot, shall we? Without dipping it in my soup. Okay, come on. I want some of the skin too. There we go. There's barbecue sauce on top and the cheese. The chicken's very tender, very, it's nice and moist, which is nice. Nothing worse than dry chicken. I think I like this better than the meat meat plate. Yeah, I do, I like this one better. It's the mixture of the barbecue sauce with the cheese. I, that, I love that. And then we have the butter rice and French fries just like the other one. But there's also onion rings in here. I guess that makes it American? Big thumbs up. Good job, Frankie, good job. There's also another plate, it's Usopp's fish plate. We didn't get that. I know I probably wouldn't like it. I'm not the biggest fish person, so wasn't even gonna bother trying. Chicken, chicken all the way. For dessert, we got Sanji's Bitter Chocolate Parfait, which has orange and passion fruit inside of it. Sounds interesting. I do love oranges. And I do love passion fruit. Chocolate, I can take it or leave it. Kinda looks like a bee. No. It's, the, the chocolate is way too rich for me. No. Mm -mm. Sorry, Sanji. I know I keep eating it, but I want to make sure, <laughs> you know? The chocolate is very rich. Yeah, it's too rich for me. The orange is nice, and the passion fruit on the top was nice. But yeah, the chocolate, like, pudding inside of it. Yeah, that's a... One more try. Yeah, no. <laughs> that is a pass from me. The other dessert is a matcha dessert with brown sugar and wadabi mochi. Wadabi mochi is like the really sticky mochi that's delicious that usually has kinako powder on top of it. We're not trying that today, but that is another dessert. Um, I'll have to try that next time, I think. I have my one piece outfit here. I'd want to show you really quickly what it looks like. We have the towel. <laughs> I like that I'm talking to the wall right now. And we have the headband. And I like the back of the shirt too. It's a full ensemble. I love it. <laughs> Got the classic logo on here and there's some hair on there. We'll just brush that off. Fix my headband. We got Luffy on the top there. Beautiful, beautiful. I love matching my outfits to everything and I love that University of Japan has all these different options so you can mix and match what works for your style. I think that's really, really clever how they come up with that. And for full transparency, I bought the kachusha, the headband, the t-shirt, and this was, this was provided to us. They're not getting it back because uh, I've been using it <laughs> all day. <laughs> we're having some one-piece snacks. You can get them here in Jurassic Park. First, we're trying the Nami orange churro. There's a lot of, a lot of orange on here. There's orange, it looks like orange zest. I like the packaging, the packaging is really cute. It tastes like a creamsicle, the icing anyway. The churro is just a churro. <laughs> but you know me, with the churros, I'm all about the icing. 
you know, Universal puts a copious amount of stuff on the churro, and I cannot be mad at that. This is very refreshing, which is an odd thing to say about churro. I just noticed, too, there's actually, like, gold on this. A little piece, piece of gold. We're underneath the flying dinosaur. Love that coaster. Thumbs up on this one. This one is one of the better churros I've had in a while here. Not bad. We're not done, don't you worry. Sanji, oh, Sanji also has a rib with honey mustard on it. It's gonna be messy. Ooh, ooh, you can see the honey mustard on there. Oh, it's very, very potent too. Waiting for the mustard to kick in. I struggled a little bit with it. Finally got to it. It's nice and tender. The honey mustard, it's a little too subtle. I wish it was like honey mustard, like punching my taste buds. It doesn't do that, unfortunately. It's, it's, a, it's a little subtle. You can use a little bit more. It's still pretty good though. It's um, filling. I think I'd probably get the churro over this. It's just supposed to eat. My stomach is very full right now. <laughs> But we are heading over to the One Piece show. It's over in the Waterworld Theater. I've never seen it before and I'm really looking forward to it. I cannot wait. <laughs> and once the show is done, Explorers, I'll explain how to get tickets. That was a lot of fun. It was chaotic. It was filled with characters. There was explosions. There was fire. <laughs> there was, and of course, water. I enjoyed that a lot more than I thought I would. I had no idea what to expect. I was pleasantly surprised. The one thing that I thought was really cool was this use of LED blankets. I don't know what they're called, that some of the performers had, and it gave these effects for some of the fighting scenes, and I thought that was really brilliant. It really added to the detail of the show. And it comes as no surprise, the entire show was in Japanese, so I didn't understand it fully, but there was fighting in between and water and all that fun stuff. <laughs> I got the gist. What else do you need? So I know some people are probably wondering, the Waterworld show is still happening during the day, it's just the One Piece show is in the evening on select nights. So if you're a fan of One Piece, you definitely have to check this out if you can come to Japan and get some tickets. The sky's just opened up, it's starting to rain. That's why I'm under the canopy here. About tickets, they're a little tricky to get, but I'm gonna explain them to you. So you can get them through the official University of Japan ticket website, but it's only on the Japanese website, unfortunately. Another option is going to Lost and Convenience stores and buying them there through the Loppy machine. Again, that's only in Japanese. And the tickets for this show tend to sell out, so you're really chancing it if you're waiting to get them at Lawson. You can also try the Lawson's website as well. They do do that, but again, that's only in Japanese. But there is 
one thing you can try. They do have same day tickets if there's any available. So when you come in the park, you can check at the front and see if they have any tickets left for that day. That's the only way you can get same day tickets. So you can try your luck and see if you can get in for the show. And it's usually in the evening, like 6.45. Summer at Universal Studios Japan is a ton of fun, even when it's raining. <laughs> Remember, explorers, if you are planning a trip to Universal Studios Japan, you can check out our digital guidebook up on our website at tdrexplorer.com slash books. I'll put a link in the description for you. And don't you worry, there is more to summer here at Universal Studios Japan. I'll put my video up here for the Super Mario power-up show and we eat a bunch of food and stuff there so make sure you can go and watch that next all right i'm gonna go find some more shelter because i'm gonna get drenched again all right explorers i'll see you in the next one bye